Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to some cyberpunk. <clears throat> we're gonna continue where we left off. We were at the Ripper Docks. Always a he. Slower on the men than you, but looking better every day. I don't know, Vic. Ears are ringing. But I'm seeing shit. These hallucinations. Describe them to me. Blinding lights. It's loud. I'm on stage and I almost can't breathe. I'm so damn full of hatred. Then I let it all out into a mic. And I realized it didn't help. I don't feel any better. And then, <laughs> promise not to laugh, I plant a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing there to laugh about. They killed me, Vic. Never been so afraid. It was too real. Even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. There's a personality construct on that shard. Dreams you had were from his past. Hang on. I mean to say there's an actual terrorist in my head. Right now. That's right. Johnny Silverhand. Had his crowning moment about 50 years ago. A.H.Q. bombing. Heard of it? It's his doing. People say he was buried under the rubble. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. You've never given me that look before, Vic. What is it? You, uh... Don't got a lot of time left, kid. Say what now? The biochip. It's basically a bomb. Fuse lit already. You don't have much time left. Much... life. A few weeks, tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness. Gradually taking over your body until... one day you'll just be... gone. V. It's important you get all this. You'll fix me up, right? Vic? If I could, I would, V. Believe me. But this is... It's way beyond what I know how to do. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? You want the long story or the short? I have to die. I am going to die. That's what you're saying. Prove it. Hmm. Dex shot you, right? The bullet damaged your chip slot and your brain. The biochip revived and short-circuited you. It started uploading data into your head. As far as it was concerned, your brain was an empty vessel that needed to be filled by the engram it was carrying. Empty vessel? But I'm right here. 
All of this is me. The shard doesn't read, it writes. Headache of yours? It's the biochip rewiring your neural pathways, building new neural structures, and doing away with the old. From where the shard's sitting, you, what's left, it's all a tumor that needs to be excised. Can't we just take the chip out? Or switch it off? Either way is out of the question. You die immediately. Vic, you've always come through for me. If there's nothing you can do to help me, then... Well, what the hell do I do? Tell me, please. Vic. I wish I knew, kid. Misty. You're asking too much from an old timer like Vic. Come on, V. Let's get you home. Looks like neither one of us made it out of the job. <laughs> And then he died. And I thought I was gonna die. With him in my sleep. Sleep's a small hint of death. The inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean... I could be dead already, right? Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. Here. Got some meds for you. Omega blockers. Taken regularly, they'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudoendotrizine's from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak. Giving me a pill to prod that son of a bitch so he can kill me faster? Listen, you're likely to be fine for a while. But sometime down the road, it could turn into pure agony. I'm giving you options, honey. The brain could be tricked. Plain old painkillers do that. Your psyche's gonna die, V. You'll feel your old self slipping away. At some point, you won't recognize yourself. It'll be terrifying. It'll be painful. But it doesn't have to be. The fuck I need pills for? Ought to just stick a gun in my mouth and pull the trigger. Well, that way you'd kill two souls. Is that what you want? I gotta lie down. Here. Got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm? <laughs> Promise you'll try to get some sleep? Misty, wait. Um, about Jackie. Yeah? He talked about you. Like lots. We got into a fight. Right before he went off to do this job. He wasn't mad at you. I hope you know that. I know. I just wish our last moments together could have been... different. But right now, you need rest. So sleep. Please sleep. Died. Need rest. Should just take my wheelchair. Don't I need that?
play the rest of the game from a wheelchair. Gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way. You included. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? Where'd you even come from? How are we even talking? How the fuck should I know? The fuck kind of joy toy are you supposed to be? Fucking ghost off! Start talking! Fuck. Fuck. Fucking chip. Rip the thing out myself! No, wait! <laughs> Never, asshole. Now like that, stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger. I can feel it. Our minds touch on you. I'm like mold on fruit creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. Kill you! Do it. What are you waiting for? Oh, fuck me. So he's a peach.
what the? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, this jacket's pretty cool. Let's rock that. And some new shirts. Military grade Netrunner suits. Um, I still kind of like that one. Those are pretty sweet. Hey, that's not bad. Those are awesome. Pimp hat. Well, let's go with that. That's not bad. Save real quick. Um, I still don't know how to back out of these stupid computers. Uh, I guess that works. Takemura here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Hmm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. Okay. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. I got all my stuff back now, apparently. Uh, let's get to a... Uh... Machete, knife. All right, so I guess we'll sell some of this crap. Um, <clears throat> oh, wow, I got a lot of junk now. All right, so let's get rid of some of these subbies. They sell for like 86. Looks 
like these assault rifles are better than these. They're both power, so... Let me sell it for a little bit. I think I have one equipped. Yeah, so we'll get rid of that. Um, I think I kind of like my other shotgun better. A little auto shoddy. Two of these. We'll sell one. Uh, ton of euro. Unity. Alright, so now we got some more reasonable options. Uh, G to sell junk. Yeah, I guess so. Alright. Alright, let's figure out our new equip. What I got? I got so many machine guns. Tech is what I'm using. I got some extra Takimura pistols. Hold on, I think I missed some other stuff I need to sell. Uh, like these. Barrel tech shoddy. Uh... That's the one I've equipped, apparently. Equip everything and then we'll re equip and see what we like. I'm gonna go with probably a shotgun as our base. And the question is. Do I stick with that one or go with this one? Uh, and then I'll 
I'll do... I guess we'll use a pistol and then a sniper rifle. All those pistols are a downgrade. I'll just keep this for stealth, because we have a suppressor. And then, the head slot wise, I can just equip whatever has the most armor. And we can disassemble the rest of this. I like how they, they implemented that. That wasn't here the first time I played the game where uh, where you you couldn't like like whatever you had equipped is what was showing and you couldn't go to your like thing and have your other stuff on. Special outfits. Check our, we got, ooh, we got a lot of stuff. Um, I think we're working on body. Shotguns, light machine guns. Reduce reload time of your shotguns. Heck yeah. machine guns, handguns, blades, technical, this is all of our crafting stuff. That's not a bad thing to have, like when we're doing, uh, let's see here, body points, technical, I think I'll wait, like what do I need for the next set of skills for this, I need to get to what, nine, is the next one nine, yeah, 
Alright, so if I get body up to nine, and we do technical, I gotta get technical to nine as well, so we'll do seven for starters. Alrighty. that I'm not, that I don't have equipped. I'm gonna keep some of the ones that look cool though. Bullshit! Just open up! We came here as Kali, nothing else. Haven't heard from you in a while. We're worried. No, no, now leave me alone! Don't forget. Congrats, Mendez. Wait. Oh, what? So I'm the bad guy? I'm not the one who's holed up, playing the attention. Blame him. He's not the first or the last. It's called life. Hey, what's going on? I live right upstairs. Just so keep on living. And stop minding other people's biz. Dad, hold on. It's his neighbor. Is there anything I can do? Maybe. You know Barry at all? More or less. Struck up a convo once or twice. He's a friend from the precinct. Left the force not long ago. He broke down after his best friend died. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Relax, Patrol. Barry's got nerves of steel. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! Could you check on him when he's chilled down? Sure, why not? It's not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be touchy. Let's see what I can do. Hey, Barry, everything all right in there? The I'm gonna take that as a yes. Uh, try again later. Just trouble, usual stuff. Ah, ah. need of iron and lead, then, I take it? Sure, let me see what you got. Eh. Alright, let's see what you got. What I like? 
like to hear. Smoking crotch? Smoking crotch. Guy. way to put it. Anyway, just calling to say I transferred the funds. When we've dried our tears, we must Thanks. the future. Oh no, thank you! The future, the more for you, I'd for our fair city. Oh. I no problem. To do everything Go get him, Tiger. To ensure his will Finally got paid for that job. So Takamura just yet. Fetch your vehicle from the parking garage. feels off here you don't say don't mean the wreck I mean the run city's most courteous chauffeur ups and drives away from the scene of an accident not to look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. 
Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. This about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and the Yorinobu Arasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. You thinking I ought to have a word with her myself? She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? Don't think so, no. Can you expand? Don't matter how much perfume a corpo sprays on mornings. By lunch, that's replaced by the stench of skullduggery. Only thing I caught from Evelyn was determination. And I too stink of skullduggery? Nope. You're starting to stink. Period. Hmm. <sighs> Sorry I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose, so... Hey, wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice. In Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think... They'll trust the word of a merc. I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear are its heart. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist. Thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka. Betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey! I was listening to that! Shut up! Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. Hmm. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Last thing we want to do is to draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. 
Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor Among Thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Your noble Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called the Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. She take you for a suit? No, she saw me as Saburo-sama's killer. Rogue's well informed, gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Maybe. Later. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka is still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make it like nothing happened. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dickwipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back. Looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. You're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us.
you were gone. And not alone in thinking me dead. I thought it was game over for me too. Things went ass up, huh? Not as planned. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. You know where she is? What I just say? Drop it. I won't tell you again. Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. Who told you I want to? Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? job go to the afterlife pay off my debt Judy's over there okay so now we finally got through collect my reward from Okako yeah we need to do that still all right finally the game has opened up to us um, there's a lot of story in this game um, and it's really interesting but uh this is what I was really excited for was getting back into uh, free roll. So I'm going to pause it here. This is a good stopping point and next episode we'll jump into all the side quests and everything. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.